Good old JT. Uh, Going to come out at 32 off right here. Oh, looks like the graphic says 35. Uh, well, let me check with the officials real quick, Jeff, I'll tell you as you what, walk you know, through that, this path. That is interesting. Maybe uh, he wants a little bit of a change-up in off. regard to this, uh, uh, the air, this uh, movement. Got a light uh, head tailwind right here, and he's coming off the dock at 35 off. Uh, but hold on here one moment. We'll find out uh, if that is correct. Uh, easily, though, around 6 and now out the gate. Let's sit down. We can get a, a, a camera action from that uh, tow boat. Maybe we can tell uh, film, but we're also checking with the uh, judge's tower uh, to see. Yep, it absolutely. Looks like he is coming off a dock at 35 off right there uh, on the replay from the boat camera. Just an incredible gutsy move right here uh, coming out hard. Uh, you know, maybe he's uh, perhaps playing the wind a little bit and uh, maybe wants to go deep 41 today. Well, this is going to set him up if he makes it through the next pass 38 for a tailwind 39 and a headwind 41. So uh, possibly playing the wind and, and seeing what's going on. Uh, that was, yeah, 35 off great. Uh, cool, very cool start for JT out there uh, throwing it down. Uh, again, this kid has been on fire this year. Just multiple, multiple scores at the 41 offline league. Skiing in his first uh, qualifying, actually, the week prior to his very first regular Masters event. So, uh, uh, John Travers, uh, definitely a very hot young gun out on the water, and uh, he wants a big score. This is 38 off. I oh. imagine we won't see any issues here for JT. No, I wouldn't think so at all. He's really finishing with a tight line, a lot of angle coming through the uh, – the wakes right there, 38 off, definitely uh, going down here. The water conditions, as you can see out there, are just perfect. Uh, don't let that uh, bend over uh, attitude fool you right there. He was not in trouble by any means. He just uh, finished that number six ball uh, so firmly that uh, mm -hmm. you know, he just came into the center of the boat uh, a little quick. 39 and a half coming off with a very, very slight uh, tailwind. He is anticipating. 41 off into that uh, very, very slight headwind, and let's see if he can, uh, you know, get through that. Well, it looks uh, like, like he's got a little bit of a hand issue right there, maybe, uh, you know, uh, a wrist, uh, something to think about right there. What, what, uh, what's going on right there? I don't know if uh, just having an issue with his glove and his strap or something, uh, John rocking those clincher gloves, so maybe just having to fix the straps on him. Uh, but, yeah, that 38 off looking real strong, almost – uh, you, you can watch the ski on his 2-4 side. It's just sliding right through the water because he's he is just turning that ripstick, that D3 Nomad RCX, so hard out there. It's almost You almost got to tell the young man he's just trying to get on it a little too much. Uh, uh, just be patient out there. That, uh, that ski is going to come around, man, because he, he definitely can turn that sucker. He really can, and here we are, 39 and a half off. Oh, a nice turn out of one ball. Power, power out of that. In a uh, good position out of two. Oh, it looks like he's dialing in right here at uh, perhaps Ooh. a little down course at uh, four ball. Yeah, just, uh, you know, g coming down course at each turn. Uh, you watch the replay right here. Uh, and you're turning real hard out of one and coming into two. Uh, and, yeah, you see him on the tail a little bit, which occasionally JT does, but coming out of three, uh, and, and he's just he's getting too far and he, and he tries to make up a lot right there uh, not able to do so so John Travers going down uh, three and a half at 39 off 